Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a super exciting tutorial wherein we are going to learn the deadly combination of a for loop and a recursive function. So previous tutorial we learned that a for loop can be replaced by a recursive function and a recursive function can also be replaced by a for loop. But we do have occasions or we do have some use cases wherein you might have to use both of them and that's the only way of solving maybe in certain cases. What we are trying to do here is we are trying to understand can we in the middle of the for loop execution start the for loop all over again from the first iteration. So let me just give you an example here. So this is a list of seven sentences. Now once I execute this and if I try to run a for loop here for i in send list print i, I have all these sentences getting printed one after the other. But now my requirement is whenever I come across a sentence that starts with the if keyword or if word, then it should stop. It should stop and it should remove that particular sentence from the list. And then it should start all over again from the very first element of the list. So again, it should print list one. This is list two. Then it should print. This is list four, list five. And then since again, we have the sentence starting with the word if it should print this and then it should also delete this at the same time. And then it should once again start from the first element in the list. And then it should print list one, list two. This is list four, list five. And this is the seventh list. And since now we have not come across any if word and also the sentences or the elements in the list have got completed, we have to just come out of the loop. So this is what we are trying to do here. And let me just do a control Z and bring the other sentences back. So where do we have these applications? We could have something like a you know, flow chart wherein based on certain condition, there is a division here. So condition met, condition not met. So when the condition met, you have some, you know, some parameters, some functions or some programs taking place. And then once again, you'll have some conditions met, some conditions not met. So it will have another division there. Similarly, on this side of the tree as well, you could have some divisions and these divisions just could go on and on. And we just want to understand if we start from the very scratch, from the very first point, And once we flow, what are the various scenarios we are coming across? How many scenarios do we have? So if you have to maintain the entire sequence of scenarios, that's where this would be very helpful for us. But the problem with the for loop is that once it, once you start the iteration, it just goes on and on till you sort of use a break statement and it would uh, bring you out. So we are going to do something similar to that, but how can we start or re-execute the for loop from the very first iteration? That is what we are going to learn in this particular tutorial. All right, now let me just try to modify this by using a function as well, which is going to be a recursive function. So we'll come to a recursive function gradually, but let's try to, you know, sort of improve this for loop to a certain extent, and then we shall add on the recursive function. All right, so here I have already got all these elements printed, but the requirement is the moment we see this word if whenever a sentence starts with the word if we have to print that and sort of come out and start from scratch so we have to put that condition here so the condition is now before i put the condition here let me just try to explain how the system would understand that it has started with the word if so sent list s-e-n-t-l-i-s-t -E and this is the third element which is the second index so if i just put two here we have the sentence. So if I do a dot starts with and if I type if it gives me true. So which means this sentence, this element is starting with the word if. So this is the condition that we are going to put inside this for loop here. If I because I is nothing but this particular sentence dot starts with if then what do you want to do? You want to print that sentence for sure. But after printing, what would you want to do? You want to start the for loop all over again. 
So if we have any function, we have to sort of call that function all over again. So let me now introduce a function here and the function is def say recurs function and let me type the same thing here send list all right so i have uh, created a function here and i need to tap everything inside so once i have this printed what am i going to do i'm going to call or sort of return the function so i have to call the function again i have to return it as return recursive function and now i also need to update this uh, sent list here so i have printed that but i need to remove this particular sentence as well from the sent list so before i call this recursive function i need to say sent list dot remove i so after i've printed that sentence now i'm going to remove that and i'm going to update my sentence list so now this will not be having this sentence right so once i have that now i'll be returning recursive function and sent list so when we first passed it would be having all of these sentences but after it executes or catches the if condition for the first time once it reaches this particular line it would actually be removing this particular sentence and by the time we come to this return recurs function sentence uh, recurs function uh, sent list it will be just this so this if condition will be there but this will not be there let me just do a control z here again all right now are we done with this not yet so what we have to do is here only if the condition is that if i starts with if but the first two sentences do not have the sentences getting started with if so but we need to print them right so we have to put an else condition here else print i so when i am doing this for loop when it's reading the first sentence this is list one it is not starting with if so it will straight away come to the else and it will print i so it will print this is list one then again it will go to the for loop it will read the second sentence again since it does not start with if it goes to the else it will print i but now i don't want these sentences to be printed you know one sentence after the other or one line after the other i want to print them side by side separated by a, a double dash maybe so what i can do here is print i and i can use a separator here so separator will be a double dash i need to put that in quotes double dash all right now once i have done this if i just execute this line and now i don't need this anyways let me delete it now if i call the recurs function recurs just to ensure i don't do a you know typo mistake let me just copy paste it and inside the parenthesis i'm going to pass the sent list list of sentences so once i execute this what is happening here i am sorry i need to pass the end equal to double hash here all right so let me execute this all over again and now if i execute this particular function i need to call this function sent list all over again and now if i execute this here you are so what is happening here it is calling the first element and then if condition is not being met again it goes back to else so after those two dashes it is printing the second element which is this is list 2 then it is putting two dashes there and then once again it is going through this for loop now it is starting with the if condition here so it does print if this is great third list then great okay and now that it has already met this if condition it is going back right because now you are returning back to this function here but before that we are actually removing this particular sentence so this sentence no longer exists let me delete that first all right now what is happening so again it is going to the for loop now the sentence list has these sentences so it is again checking for i if i starts with f in fact the first two sentences they don't start with f so they anyway get printed as is up to list 2 then the two hyphens then we don't have the sentence because we have deleted it so it is going to the fourth and fifth sentences so that is getting printed as is 
and now once again it meets a sentence which starts with if so once it starts with if it will print that so it is printing it and after that it is removing that sentence from the sent list so now this will also be removed and then what is happening return recurs function so it is going back so it is going back and again starting the for loop from the very first element very first iteration so again it will print whatever it sees in the very beginning list one list two fourth list and uh, fifth list so list one list two fourth list fifth list and then since again nothing else is there in between the seventh list so it prints a seventh list as well so this is how a deadly combination of a for loop and a recursive function could be very useful in some cases mainly cases where we have to sort of you know in the middle of a for loop uh, in the middle of an iteration you want to start that loop all over from the first iteration so that's where this combination is really useful so i hope you have got something new to learn in this tutorial if you're liking my tutorial please do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts questions suggestions feedback please do post them in the comment section see you in the next tutorial thank you very much